Hello everyone, Mike Hoffman here with another video exclusive for Tip Squirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all kinds of Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at Tip Squirrel on Twitter or Facebook.com slash Tip Squirrel. In last week's video tip, we looked at migrating a Lightroom catalog from one machine to another. And in that video, we noted that things were much simpler if you have all your images under a single top-level folder. However, if you didn't start your catalog that way, it may happen that you have folders all over the place and don't have a single top-level folder. Now, you can do some consolidation by dragging your folders around within Lightroom. Just pick up any folder and you can drag it in the folders section of the library into another folder. Now this brings up a couple of points. First of all, I'd recommend doing most of your organizing of your folders here within Lightroom if possible. If you move a folder outside of Lightroom in the Finder on a Mac or in Windows Explorer, then Lightroom no longer knows where the folder is and you'll get the missing folder icon with the question mark that we saw last week in the video tutorial. Secondly, it's important to note that you can't drag a folder up a level if there's no top-level folder. Right here, we have a folder that was accidentally imported as a subfolder, and we want it to be at the same level as these other folders. But there's no top-level folder to drag it to, and we can't simply drag it up to the Macintosh HD. That won't work. Now, notice that all these folders with dates are already at the top level of the catalog. Now, there are only a half a dozen or so in this particular catalog, but this could easily be hundreds of folders in your catalog. So how then do we get a top level folder to appear in Lightroom's folder list? Well, the answer is easier than you think. Let's jump over to Finder just for one second and take a look at the folder layout. Now, I'm demonstrating this on a Mac, but the same process applies to Windows. Here in Finder, we see that all of the image folders with the dates are, in fact, under a top-level folder called 2012, and that, in fact, is under another top-level folder called Lightroom. Now, in order to get the 2012 folder to appear in Lightroom, we simply place any photo in this folder and import it. So here you see I've placed any photo.jpg and it's just a simple image and it serves as a temporary placeholder. Let's go ahead and import this file in Lightroom. So how do we do that? Back in Lightroom we click on the import button and we'll navigate to the 2012 folder on the left hand side and there it is. We'll click this folder now, we'll want to make sure that we're set to Add at the top, which will add photos to the catalog without moving it. And also notice on the right-hand side, I have a check mark under Don't Import Suspected Duplicates. Now, this is really important because if you don't have this checked, you'll re-import all your images again, and you'll have a double copy of every image in your catalog. So make sure you keep this checked, and that's why all these images are grayed out. These are images that are already in the catalog. But if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we'll see exactly one image that's not grayed out. And this is the photo that we placed in the top level folder. So we'll go ahead and import this by clicking Import. And once it's done, we now have the top level folder in the folders list. There it is. Now at this point, we can actually remove the temporary folder. We can simply right click on this and say delete photo and we'll just remove it from the catalog for now. And notice that even when we remove it, we still maintain the top level folder structure that we imported. Now with that top level folder available, we can move this misplaced folder simply by clicking and dragging it up to the top level and then dropping it. And Lightroom gives us a warning that we're moving files on disk. So there we have it. Now you might think to yourself, 
this is great, but what happens when we get to the year 2013? Well, of course, we need one more upper level above that, and we could simply repeat this process to add another top level folder above the year so that we can have multiple years in our folder list. Now, as you can see, this is easily done. It's not very hard, and I hope that this will help you out if you're struggling to organize your Lightroom catalog. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of photography and tutorials and related information there. Or you can follow me at mhoffman2001 on Twitter. And of course, you can find me on Google+. And you can do that by going to gplusmikehoffman.com, and that'll take you right to my Google Plus page. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.